Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. Now in today's video, we're looking at a monorail, which is what you can see in the background. Now this monorail video is going to be a little bit complicated because the developer has split up everything into little pieces. So the monorail itself is actually a workshop blueprint for you to paste into the world and then you would use blast or edges in order to build the rail. If I can come down here, ignore all my lovely weird things. If I come all the way down to here, we have this little blueprint here, which is what you would download normally. You can then just copy it. As you can see, we've got instructions here of how to use it. Then blast or edges are used to make the track. However, the developer made a little star system with it all set up. So I'm going to use this for the showcase today, but I will just go and show you how the track is made a little bit later, or maybe in another video, in fact. So when you spawn into this lovely little star system world for the monorail, we have a little station. We have the monorail over there. We have a little reactor over here with 999 uranium in. We have this very ominous tunnel down here, which I kind of want to go down. So there was nothing down there. I just put the car down there. And uh, yeah, I was kind of expecting it to be more spookier than that. Could I have a jump scare there? But let's go to the actual monorail train itself. So at the front here, we have a cockpit, but I shall come back to that in a moment. Let's just go around at the outside. So we have little passenger seats. There's not too much in them, just a bunch of seats and lights. The rail itself is a blast or edge. Let me just go and activate that. So now I can jetpack. And here is the blast door edge. As for the railing itself, you can see there it's just the wheels going along the edge, much like the Dawnstar bullet train, which I had a lot of fun with. There is a connector there for you to connect the train to the track if you want to keep it completely still. That's probably one of the ways the developer has spawned in the train, because I will check that in just a moment. You probably spawn it in the disconnect it, stop it from going crazy and everywhere. On the opposite side, it's basically the same story, but let's get into one of these cockpits. So, on here we have a little merge block, which is train block 1 and 2. I presume that would be to connect the trailers together. We then have a block there, and we have a switch lock for the connector. Getting out the chair, let's go into here, because I did, 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 did forget to go in. So, into here. Hey, yeah, you don't actually need to um jump that, you can just walk in. That's always great. We've got a stop sign here saying, do not go, do not go or you will die on the track. But yeah, you can just sit on here. Quite nice, isn't it? Quite cozy. Fuel oh, critical. That's, that, that could be dangerous if it's moving. So please remain seated while the train is moving or you'll be ejected at the top. But let's go for a ride, shall we? Instant start, just holding forwards and off the wheels go. Oh, they've even got the sound effects. I don't know how they do that. It's so nice. Just the clunk, clunk, clunk. Ah, oh, it reminds me when I go to London. So let's just hide. Uh, do I want to hide the HUD? Nah. So we are doing it roughly 18 meters a second in total, which, well, it's fine, I think. That's fine. It's nothing too crazy. We're just going to keep going along. But yeah. I don't know how, to, I've tried so many times to make my own little monorail, I have no idea how they did it. But still, I believe this could be the ending track, so I need to stop myself a little bit. Let's just park up to the station. Oh, it is very pretty today. Very pretty today in the world of Space Engineers. So just keep going along here, and then plop. Locked. Ding, ding. Mind the gap. Yes. Oh, what's going on here? I think I think I could have broke the game. Right. So I am back into the monorail world after what seemed to be an issue caused by the V deck audio, which should not be on my system. Anyway, let's now try the opposite side of the station. Off we go. Oh, we are shaking and the bobbling. Nah, we don't need to stop at this place. Keep the train going. Wait, so far so good. I thought I saw a sort of block down there. Hopefully we're not falling apart. Dampeners are on. Dampeners are off. Is that a corner? Ooh, I love corners on these things. They always go horribly wrong. So even though I have increased the power of the wheels quite dramatically, it still seems to be very stable. Very stable. We are wobbling and a bobbling. 
but still doing quite well. We're on 33 meters a second, almost at 34. We are speeding up very, very slowly, but it's still staying in one piece. I mean, the wheels, the wheels there are not having a great time, are they? Look at, look at that. They are, they are just struggling. How are the back wheels going? Oh, there is a lot. There's a lot of smoke coming out of the back there. Hmm. I could, I could. Whoop. And away we go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. I have no idea why that made me so happy. Here we go. Look at me, so speeding along here. Oh, this is going to go horribly wrong. 99 meters a second. Beat that, Dawnstar. And we got a lovely corner here. How well is this going to work? I don't think it's going to go very well. Here we go. Corner, incoming, first pass in view. This is totally fine. Totally fine. Actually, that was relatively quite well. Really well, in fact. Okay, yeah, I am just like hovering. Hovering there. Oh, died. Hmm, that was weird. Let me just respawn. So before this video is completely over, I have to show you the spawning in of how it works when you do it manually. So if I press F10 here, ignore all my blueprints. So if I go and get the whole blueprint ready, so remember, you have to disconnect the train from the connector, and then you have to convert it to the ship. So copy that there. Let's just balance that out. No, we do not want that upside down. Let's go and wedge that into the floor. In fact, let's let's have it tilting up. There we go. So there is that, there is the train. And now if I get the blast door. So to make the track, I'm just gonna go and do this. Like that. And hopefully that'll work. So if we come into here, uh disconnect that. We've got that info, convert to a ship, convert that to a ship, and then convert the very back to a ship. So you have to do that on each one. Done. And now I should be able to just drive along it. And away we go. There we go. I've now set that all up. There is my track that I placed and we're going very smoothly straight off the edge. Lovely. Fuel. So yeah, that's how you spawn it in yourself if you want to try that. And that is the monorail. So it'll be in the description below if you want to try it yourself. I'll also leave the world in here in case you just want to play around with this little station over here where the corner is, where I crashed. And I shall be back with another Space Engineers video sometime soon. Bye bye.